Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be using our very own browser extension AI Props Modifier made with the WXT framework to demo how to make a YouTube video. Soundstripe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Connect with us on Discord and Slack for any help, tips, and suggestions. Soundstripe. And last but not least, donate to help us grow our business. Props Modifier is a browser extension available on Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Safari. It allows you to easily modify your prompts with your own custom prefixes and suffixes for times when you have to repetitively ask ChatGPT to respond in a way you need for what you're trying to do. For example, maybe you're applying to multiple jobs, right, and you have to tell your resume every single time. The prompts that you put in, ChatGPT might not give you in the correct format. So you need to have AI Props Modifier to help you modify those prompts so you can get the details of that resume in the format that you need. Or say you're doing research and you need ChatGPT to give you exact numbers. ChatGPT is not great when it comes to numbers. It always likes to generalize. It always likes to say there's a lot of factors involved. But sometimes you just need a number because you know you need a number, even though it might not be the correct answer, you need a number, right? So you might want to repeat that to ChatGPT and that might be one of your prompt prefixes and suffixes. Or what we're gonna to do today, make a YouTube video, right? Especially if you want to do videos in bulk, right? And you need certain aspects of the video, you need suggestions on where to get videos, right? Maybe you need suggestions for the text right? and all the other resources. So let's talk about what we used to make this extension. The WXT framework is a robust modular framework for creating browser extensions. It enables developers to build highly customizable extensions across multiple browsers by providing essential utilities and abstractions. Key features include live development, tools to optimize your bundle size, as well as cross browser compatibility, right? Even so, I wrote a script for file management for uploading files and downloading files, right? And it's really cool what they're doing. All right, so with that, let's get back to the video. Right? So essentially, I have my prompts here and I want to put my content in the input before I ask the prompt modifier to modify it. So let's go ahead and do that. So modify and set. Right, so while this generates, usually what I like to do is I like to read the prompts because even with the prompt modifier, ChatGPT, you know, can still try to generalize the story and try to repeat itself throughout this all this narrative text that I have here, right? So what I like to do is I like to make sure that it's kind of good to go, and then I have to chat ChatGPT before I kind of keep going here. Because if I don't, I'm going to ask it for videos. I'm going to ask it for audio i'm going to ask it for the things i need and if the text is off or if the text is not aligned with the story too well i'm going to need to kind of do this again right so if you're kind of doing this for fun you could just copy and paste and keep moving but for what we're trying to do for our channel we definitely want to put a little extra care into what we do so iron beam fell Four men reported about the setup, right? There's different concepts, right? This is, this was specifics, right? This is the organization that I have to. This is just labor law, right? It specifies the labor law that you need to know about, right? And then it specifies the place, Brooklyn, right? It, I should tell it, hey, city and state, 
you know, because even though we know that Brooklyn is New York, right, there's other parts of the country and even the world that you might not know where it belongs. So make sure you put that, point that out. But that's okay for now. Fly the open. Right. So that all looks good. Right. And now this table is what I like to put at the end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And then I'm just going to put it into my notes to help me edit the video. Okay. You know, so there's that. So now, after these prompts, essentially, I need the title and the descriptions and the tags, right? So, why well, go ahead and modify? So basically, it's just going to take what it sees before, and it's going to work on making the things that I need. And then one additional thing that I want to put is that definitely people's names. You definitely don't want to have people's names uh, kind of come up in these videos, right? You definitely want to try to keep things as anonymous as possible as you can. So definitely be careful with people's names. That's another thing that we have in the prompt that we kind of made sure you didn't know. So here it is. So that's your title. That's going to be our description. Okay, that's going to be our tags and that's gonna be our social media posts, right? So as you're kind of editing the video, where right, you can see opportunities that maybe you could make it more clickbait, you could do all of this after, but usually like this is kind of taken care of uh, for you, so. Now, what we're gonna do, we're going to ask about, we're gonna need the images for the video. Right, so we're gonna take each part and say, hey, I need the image for the video. So let's just start with the title. I like to get an image for the title. Right, paste that prompt in here. Let's get an image for the title. And then, uh, and then what I'm gonna head, go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And now I'm gonna move it to where I need to move it to. Right. So I'm gonna do the same for the rest of the parts of the video, right? And then what I like to do just to kind of speed up my time here is that it would just make sense for me, right? Just to go ahead and open up new windows and have these run separately so that I could save time and then if I don't like the videos, instead of like waiting amongst all three, I could just manage them each one by one. Yep, so I kind of kind of see here that this is like the dramatic hook. So I kind of don't like it. And then you might repeat this so many times that you might want to save it as a prompt. All right, so you just go ahead and we're going to go click add group say okay and then right this is kind of duplicated here and then what we'll do is we'll just now you can just and try to keep going from here and then chat GPT but even so with the prompts once it makes an image chat GPT is not able to deviate from that image and try to make the video look interesting so if anyone has a suggestion for a prompt to kind of help with this so to make sure that ChatGPT could provide different aspects, right? We appreciate that. Try it one more time. And we'll go from there. If not, we're just gonna have to accept it. See how these came out, right? So like, as you kind of point out, we're gonna need to have it try again, right? So we'll have it try again uh, one more time. And then if not, we're just gonna do video search. But we'll have to download these videos. All right, so this is not too bad. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take what I have here and um, download it. All right, so the video editing software that we use doesn't accept the WebP image format. So here we have a Python script in order to turn those files into PNG files. 
You can also look online to see what files that could transform the file WebP to the PNG file. For example, convert.io. And you can upload your files and have that taken care of that way. But you know, for the software developers out there, you definitely love this script. And you can use the image magic Python library that's available or execute it. Not necessarily that it's magic. Right, a little bit technical, but so now we kind of have it. So now let's try to focus on the video, right? Because the images are not much to be desired. So let's go back. And now we're going to do a video search. So we're going to take this. So we're gonna grab it for the title. Then we're just gonna go ahead, open up another one, grab one for the title. And then, right, just organize them so I kind of know. So we have the dramatic hook. And we have the highlighting of the dangers. And then we have that monetary aspect. And paste. There we go. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these topics and then I am going to open up some of the video uh, platforms I know, especially the free ones. And then we're going to see which videos we can use from there. All right, so VecDeasy, Pixabay, and Pexels. Those are some of the sites that I kind of use. Free stock videos that you can use. And then I also try to uh, copy that attribution All right so I say construction site accident All right try to find the free ones All right I can use something like this to indicate that people are working metal beam try to get closer to the content of the video All right I think this one's um right this one's not necessarily what I'm looking for Right, and then usually if you can't find what you're looking for, like these are kind of metal beams to the degree, but I think they're looking for an I beam specifically. I'm gonna put an I beam. You, you know, at this point, you just kind of like you're not too too reliant on ChatGPT to kind of help you what you're looking for. So I can't find it there. Then I kind of move to the next one, Pixabay. Right, and then I think that's I stock, so I probably can't use that. Right, so something like this, right? I think I really like this video. Right, I'll probably go grab the videos. It doesn't have to be exact as long as it's kind of related to what you're trying to show. Uh, I think that's good to go. I see an IV right there, even though it's not obvious, right? That's an IV. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download it, right? And then we wanna make sure that even though it's free for use, right? I always like to attribute just in case. And then what I like to do, copy the attribution and then hold on to it again, right? Usually it kind of gives you this code, but all I could do is, what I could do is I could go to ChatGPT now and have it turn this copyright attribution to something that's useful. Sounds correct. Right, and then you do that for the same for the rest of the video. So this concludes the video. Thanks to everyone for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and reach out to us in the comment section for any help, tips, and suggestions.